Программа предназначена к просмотру для лиц старше 18 лет. Инди-игры. Особый жанр или побочный продукт гейм-индустрии? Кто-то относится к ним скептически, другие ждут их победы над мейнстримом. Я готов доказать, что инди — это целый мир. И даже больше. Лодь, Польша. Именно здесь находится команда горячих, супер горячих польских разработчиков, которые, взяв за основу киношедевры прошлых лет и замиксовав это в настоящее инди-творение, взорвали мир своей игрой, которая стала одной из самых инновационных и ожидаемых жарких релизов этого года. I'm the designer and director of Superhot, currently in our uh, conference room, in our bathroom, in Superhot offices in Łódź, Poland. Yeah, so, so uh, the, it's actually quite an amazing story, because like when we started, like back in 2013, we were just this team assembled for the game jam, so it was uh, a seven-day FPS game jam. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's always nice to try something new on a game jam, like do uh, work in a way you haven't worked before. And that's what we tried. So there, there were like mostly random people, but uh, we were all very enthusiastic to, to do something. And, uh, and uh, uh, we set up to do a uh, first-person shooter. The idea was that it's called Super Hot. It's uh, time moves only when you move. And then we just try to, to, to make this thing in a week. And of course, like during the, the after a week, uh, we failed miserably. The game was a bit clunky, but People loved it so much that uh, that uh, it really surprised us, and uh, and uh, uh, yes, uh, this this actually propelled us uh, through the uh, Kickstarter. Uh, we did a Kickstarter campaign, then we uh, then we uh, uh, worked on a game for for, for two years almost, um, uh, thanks thanks to our community, and uh, here we are now. We just released, and we're planning more uh, delivering more support. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was, that was my, my idea uh, in the very beginning. But uh, uh, also with the visual design, like the early prototype had this sketch of a, of a final art style. It was this uh, red enemies and, and gray white uh, environments, right? But then uh, I recruited uh, uh, Martin Sulma, who was, who was the artist uh, who, who did the final style of the game, which is um, uh, very close to the original. But uh, uh, Martin with his uh, style and uh, the feel for for you know for colors, because I'm a simple man. Like uh, I know that there's a red color, right? There's there's white color. Like simple colors are recognized. But Martin is a, is a real artist with, with, with great feel uh, for the tiny subtleties of colors, right? And and uh, he did lots of custom shader programming to make Superbot look uh, uh, as this final thing, like like this unique. Unique thing, but but still uh, close to the uh, style from the prototype. Red enemies, simple uh, visual, uh, simple environments, right? Uh, instantly means uh, uh, it's some kind of danger. I think there is. So so uh, the base of the story of uh, of Super Hot is uh, like there are stories about the uh, horrific horrific things uh, found in the deep web. Uh, if you try to, uh, try looking at the creepy pasta about the deep web on YouTube, it's uh, it's actually quite amazing, and uh, and uh, uh, there is this uh, uh, this uh, recurring theme in creepy pastas about uh, uh, a bad video game that someone found uh, uh, maybe in an arcade salon. Right? You go to the arcade and he knows all the games, he comes there every day, but then one day a strange machine appears in the arcade and, uh, and he plays it and bad things happen, right? So, uh, so we wanted uh, Super Hot to feel like this, um, uh, like this uh, uh, strange game you find on the internet with no plot, no, uh, no, uh, no anything to it, uh, which uh, then draws you in and uh, uh, unsettling things happen. <laughs> Yeah. So, like, for Super Hot, like the biggest inspiration was was movie video drop. Uh, it's a Dave Cronenberg movie from uh, from the from the eighties or early nineties. And then I watched video drop again, and uh, wow, it's it's so similar. Like lots of it. Even the trailer for for video drop has has Video drop. Video drop. 
in this uh, mantra form. Like, uh, it was a real surprise for me because um, I watched the video so many, many times uh, before uh, when I was younger. But then, uh, then I completely forgot about it. And then, then it, it came back just uh, as uh, uh, as uh, many ideas in, in, in super hot. But actually, it was the the, the level clearly inspired by the Matrix Loki uh, is uh, is something that uh, that we did very very late because uh, uh, because uh, uh, I don't know why I, I just don't know why. But yeah, Matrix Matrix was a clear inspiration, and also like many levels have uh, have clear references to to uh, to some uh, some some just action scenes that we that we loved from from, uh, from other movies like from uh, there was like. Uh, uh, yeah, Kill Bill inspired uh, 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 fragments like the Tarantino themes. Uh, the Jackie Chan movies have like awesome fighting choreographies, and, and we also uh, also uh, got uh, something something there, uh, like from Police hot. Story. Super hot, super hot, super hot. We are doing uh, uh, VR super hot as a as a standing experience. Uh, more like you see on uh, on uh, HTC Vive, uh, but we are doing this uh, uh, on Oculus with Oculus Touch controllers, and uh, uh, this is uh, actually uh, quite. A, it's a nice experience. So like like you have those hands in the air, right? Uh, those virtual hands. Uh, time moves only when you when you when you move, like in super hot, and. Uh, you are uh, so, so you have those, those fantastic moments where you are standing really, really still because you know that that every movement uh, does matter. Like Super Hot is a very tight FPS game, so like uh, you don't really fight on big distances. You, you usually uh, fight on close, closer distances uh, in Super Hot than you do in normal FPS game. And uh, with um, Super Hot on uh, in VR. Those distances are even even smaller. So so uh, even tinier move, uh, amounts of movement matter in uh, in VR. So enemies tend to be closer to you uh, because that that's that's way more interesting in VR. We're we're figuring out uh, still figuring out how can you use uh, uh, like hot switching we have in the in the uh, in the, uh, in the uh, full super hot, like where you change paths with enemies, but that's later in the game, don't tell anybody. Uh, so, so it should be by the end of the year, that's what I imagine, but, uh, uh, but that's a very, a, a very rough estimate right now. But we're doing a, a, a DLC, and this will be a, a free DLC for the game, and the, the, the core idea around this DLC will be uh, procedural levels, so basically uh, you go inside super hot, uh, when you complete a, a, a level you get super, super hot and you go deeper, and you go deeper, deeper again, uh, but when you die you get thrown out. And uh, uh, every time you go in, the levels are different, uh, uh, and uh, this thing, uh, this things you are you are playing is evolving, uh, a bit like uh, like a bit roguelike experience, a bit like uh, Binding of Isaac does it, uh, but of course with our own super hot spin on it. So so that is that's a big plan uh, plan for for uh, for us. So there's VR, there's this procedural thing. And uh, we would love to experiment with some some, some mobile things. Super hot on mobile. Uh, well, we have to do it because it's already there. there are those super hot clones. You search for super hot, and uh, you get those terrible, terrible clones. And then people write to us, "Yeah, I played super hot. It's not so good. I played it on mobile. It's not so good. It's not working." Like people are writing us, and then we say, "No, no, no. This is not the real thing." And like instead of explaining, like uh, it's, it would be best to. Do our own good thing on uh, on on, uh, on on mobile. So so that's the that's the general uh, direction hot. now. Super hot, super hot, super hot. Uh, if you're not a native speaker of Russian, it's hard to hard to really check it, right? But um, uh, actually, uh, like in Poland, I remember I remember seeing like uh, old old Northern Commander uh, DOS style interface in Polish. And it was also very strange for me, like to see it. But but th th there were those versions, and I think I'm sure that there was some kind of Russian version uh, also. Although although uh, you know I, I I'm not a not a native, so so I so I don't know. 
but um, you know that's 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 always con controversial, right? Um, we wanted to go with this uh, old DOS interface, but at the same time, uh, you wanted to be approachable for someone who, who doesn't know the language, uh, who doesn't know for, not the language, who doesn't know the uh, the old computers, right? And how do you deal with that? So basically, like the the labels. Uh, had to be translated to, to be uh, to be readable, right? Uh, for for someone who doesn't know old computers, yeah, you mean hardcore handling? Yeah, it's, it's actually great. I I, I, I love it. It's uh, it's such an experimental thing. Like back when we were starting in 2013, actually the video from from Ilya, from Ilya Meisler, the director of Hardcore Henry, the bad motherfucker. Uh, it's the name of the song. Uh, uh, video and it was uh, it was this this first person pure action. It was so amazing. Like uh, I actually like uh, when we were starting, I showed the showed the video to to uh, to the team as a, as a reference how 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 it should, should be working. We, in the end, we went in a bit different different direction, but still, it's it's uh, it's a great great piece of action and it's, uh, it's uh, amazing movie, amazing movie. Because you no know, movies movies like. This is a big business. This is like bigger business than games, and and so like the movies tend to be similar to each other. Like like it's either a romantic comedy, it's it's like a thriller. There are all those genres, and like the, the movies get similar to each other. And Hardcore Henry, this is different, and that's that's what you have to appreciate. Yeah, and uh, it also gives you headaches, just like Super Hot. <laughs> yeah, just just like VR, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. You know, I'm I'm such a deep hipster when it comes to games. You no, know, I, I don't play mainstream games. I, I just I just don't really have time for them. And, and this is uh, this is not uh, uh, not uh, uh, most of the time it's not interesting for me because they, those games are very like prolonged experiences most of the time. And uh, and uh, I like the the novelty in games. I like when the game like delivers something new every every moment I play. Right. And that's uh, that's my, my kind of playing. Uh, so so indie games like like uh, are a winner for me. I just uh, I just cannot separate that. And like whenever I'm, I'm uh, explaining games to you know some some some, some people that are not uh, gamers, right? Uh, I rather would, uh, uh, would give someone an, a cool indie game than I would uh, like uh, give him Witcher or something something uh, more hardcore, right? Because uh, because uh, 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 many indie games are, are like great like Undertale Undertale like like Undertale is a great like entry level product entry entry drug right you give someone Undertale and and he says oh this is so sweet game and then you give him like Overwatch then you give him something like some, some, something truly addictive right uh, so so. Uh, uh, so yeah, like like uh, uh, most uh, of the interesting games right now are in the game from Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Mm, uh, but why exactly are you doing this interview instead of playing the goddamn Overwatch? <laughs> Uh, uh, we actually like uh, when when Blizzard was, was launching Overwatch, uh, we sent them some uh, some uh, codes for super codes because yeah, you know, guys, we heard that you are releasing a game, and uh, and uh, so so good luck with you. Here are some super good codes. Maybe you will give some Overwatch codes to us, quick, quick. Uh, and and uh, uh, and uh, since then we are playing uh, playing Overwatch uh, like. Uh, the, in the evenings, in the evenings always, we are focusing on work. But, but when there is like the sign is stop on the, in in work, we are playing Overwatch, and this is uh, uh, it's, it's, it's very good. It's very good. It's pathologic. It's, 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 uh, this is deep in the deep history. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I like it. Uh, pathology, uh, pathology is, 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 is like this, uh, a really art game, right? Yeah. This is, this is uh, a lot of thought put into there, and you know that uh, it's not just pure communication. It's, it's like something, something deeper that uh, sometimes only the creators understand. Yeah, but it's, this is this is uh, it's, this is deeply encoded. Yeah, right? it's for even yeah. it's for even more pretentious hipsters than we are. So. Yes. It's, it's important for the game to stand out. Always, uh, yeah. you are doing like those entertainment things, and uh, and uh, uh, part of the entertainment is like this uh, uh, built-in marketing of the game. Like, uh, does it stand out? Does it look different than, than anything, uh, any other thing you've seen? Right? Uh, 
Uh, so, uh, so uh, the, the biggest problem is, uh, is uh, you are doing this highly detailed, rich environment, and then in the end, it's just the uh, uh, people who watch it and say, nah, I've seen it already. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's just, just like other game, and yeah, this is yay for good hard work, you know? It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's, um, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, it's uh, like for us in this small team it was unachievable. Uh, uh, the other way and also like uh, 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 like we wanted to focus on different things, right? So no textures, no textures is super hot. But maybe like, I don't know. Like, like actually for the for the for the VR thing we are doing uh, uh, some textures, uh, texture stuff also like like heavy textures. Like what this? <laughs> yeah, because you guys, you guys will understand it anyway. Uh, dziękuję wam bardzo i, i do zobaczenia. Do zobaczenia przy innej okazji. Bardzo dziękuję. Yeah. Later. yeah. Can't wait. So, uh, you've been in this very bathroom for exactly 57 minutes. Do you guys, do you guys even pee? I mean... <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not this kind of bathroom. Uh, we have a shower. Инди игры – особый жанр или побочный продукт гейм индустрии? Кто-то относится к ним скептически, другие ждут их победы над мейнстримом. Я готов доказать, что Инди – это целый мир. И даже больше.